WPW syndrome is a great mimicker on the electrocardiogram. It can mimic various conditions which we will come to shortly. This ECG shows WPW syndrome. In V5 you can see a black arrow which marks the delta wave as well as short PR interval which are characteristic of WPW syndrome. WPW syndrome can be mistaken for myocardial infarction. Negative delta waves in inferior leads may be mistaken for pathological Q waves of old myocardial infarction. Right ventricular hypertrophy may be suspected because of tall R waves in V1 and V2. Similarly, tall R waves in V5 may be taken as left ventricular hypertrophy. Another differential diagnosis is left bundle branch block. Slurred R waves in lead 1 may be thought as left bundle branch block. In fact, the computer algorithm of the ECG machine diagnosed this ECG as complete left bundle branch block. But these mistakes can be avoided if we go by the sequence of ECG evaluation PPR interval. So it is because we forget to see the P waves and PR interval that WPW syndrome is often missed. Once you see a short PR interval, naturally we look at the delta waves. Delta waves may not be seen all leads. In some leads it may be isoelectric. So you have to inspect multiple leads and have some suspicion as well to diagnose WPW syndrome in a subtle case.